Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and many of you requested a video on Ascendant, how to judge the Ascendant and the Ascendant Lord. So people ask me these questions, my Lagnesh is in 3rd house, my Lagnesh is in 5th house, 7th house, 8th house, ninth house, what will happen? Alright, so today we are going to uh, see with the help of an example chart what happens when uh, the Ascendant Lord is in a particular house and it's not a blanket statement like Lagnesh is in seventh house, so you will be running behind opposite sex. It's not like that. <laughs> Lagnesh is in tenth house, you are always thinking of career. It is not like that, right? So, this has many layers to it, and this is a bit, uh, this will require a bit of advanced astrology. But if you have difficulty, then you can watch it two, three times. I'm very sure you'll understand, or else you can go to my astrology basics playlist, all right. And uh, before I start speaking, I would like to uh, pray for the people uh, of West Bengal and Orissa in India. These are two very beautiful states uh, who have been suffering uh, from many calamities uh, from some recent days. So my prayers and my best wishes to all of you residing in Kolkata and Orissa. All right, go. So she is a Gemini ascendant. Okay. So now. We think that, okay, Gemini means we just check Mercury. So Mercury is in 7th house. That's it. End of the story, right? <laughs> no, it's not like that. Today, I will teach you in detail how to analyze the Ascendant. Okay, so but before that, you have to understand what is the Ascendant Lord actually? What is the meaning when you say that an Ascendant Lord is placed in a particular house? The Ascendant Lord's placement in a particular house shows that that area of life that house which impacts you very much it is that one house if that house is functioning properly everything is good if that house is not functioning properly you are in difficulty so therefore it is very crucial that we take care of the house areas related to the house where the ascended lord is sitting so where do we see the ascendant lord we do not see it in the lagna chart in the rashi chart we check it in the bhava chart so okay this is the uh, bhava chart if you can check so here mercury is in the sixth house but in the lagna chart it's appearing to be in the seventh house all right so please always check placements from the bhava chart do not see from the lagna chart all right now mercury is still in sagittarius it doesn't get into uh, scorpio just because it is in the sixth house okay so now the thing is apart from that you have to uh, know another concept of naisargic lagna naisargic lagna means when you see number three in the ascendant okay so in the bhava chart also it is gemini lagna okay so then you have to check uh, what is going on in the in the third house why do i say third house because it's number three here gemini ascendant so for every gemini ascendant you must check the third house and you must check sun why sun because he is the third lord okay do not forget the third house so if this is this was a sagittarius rising please go to the ninth house okay so now you check what is happening the first thing i said is check where the ascendant lord is placed in the bhava chart so where is the ascendant lord placed Mercury is placed in the sixth house in the bhava chart. Okay, and yes, as usual, if you are new to uh, my channel, then please uh, subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me, then please go to my website down in the description section. Okay, and yes, God is there with you all the time, just look to Him and you will find Him. So, Ascendant Lord is in the sixth house, so therefore, this person should maintain a very strict discipline in life, otherwise, things will go haywire. Okay, this is one thing which we know about the person. So, what is the most important thing for this person? It is to be disciplined and have a regular schedule. Sleep is very important because 12th house is the seventh from the sixth, and seventh house is the house of completion. So, if the sleep is not proper because 12th house is sleep, then she will have serious problems in life. All right. So, please sleep properly if you have Lagnesh in 6th in the Bhava chart. Now, Mercury is in enemy sign, it is in the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius is a great sign for any planet to be, but for Mercury, it is an enemy sign for uh, Mercury and Venus also, and Rahu also, especially, of course, especially Rahu. 
So then uh, what do you say to this person? Well, uh, Mercury in Sagittarius. See, whenever the Lagnesh is placed in enemy sign, it can happen that when you are wanting to do that thing, which that planet represents, uh, you, you always keep facing obstacles, okay? So now Sagittarius can represent discussions and arguments. So it can happen that whenever this lady go, tries to sleep, then there are some arguments within the family or there are some discussions, all right? Because of these, these issues, uh, uh, Sagittarius is also the sign of principles, okay? So somebody may say, oh, I think this is right, and she may become angry. She may say, no, 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 no I think that is right. You see this Mars in 12th, very bad for insomnia, okay? Always sleep problems with Mars in 12th in the Bhav chart because that increases your uh, Pitta, actually, the fire element, okay? Not exactly, but you can understand it like that. So therefore, this this sleep thing is the most crucial thing for this lady. So whenever you are uh, doing a consultation for a client, you must be able to identify what is the most prominent area for this person, okay? What is that which is causing this person to become unhealthy in life? So if suppose moon was placed here, moon mercury is excessive thinking. So if instead of Mars, there was moon, then this person is going on thinking. And because of that, she is not sleeping in the night. Okay? So this is how you have to know which are the areas actually. So then you check uh, which, uh, which, plan, which is the uh, Nasser week lagna. Okay? It's number three. So you check where sun is. So you see it's Leo here. So then you go and check where is sun. Hmm? So the placement of sun will tell you to what extent is the agenda of Mercury being fulfilled, okay? So therefore, if you see in the Bhav chart, Sun is in the sign of Scorpio in the fifth house, okay? So this is a great placement. Any planet is great in the time. So that means the Sun is uh, helping this Mercury to achieve his agenda, okay? So that means when these discussions and these arguments can happen, because of Sagittarius, uh, she might let go of certain arguments because of the fifth house. Maybe it's with her children or maybe with somebody who she loves. Okay, these kind of things can uh, come into picture. But fifth house can mean so many things. Okay, but this is just an example which I'm giving you. Then the third thing which you should, you should check is which are the planets which are in Kendras to this Lagnesh in the Bhav chart. Okay, Kendra means one, four, seven, ten. So. Uh, Kendras will always help this planet, okay? <clears throat> so you check, uh, if you uh, go to the 6th house, then Kendra to 6th house is the 12th, 9th and the 3rd. Okay? These are Kendras, 3, 6, 9 and 12. So you see Mars is here. Then you have Jupiter and Moon. Fantastic to have Jupiter or Moon in Kendra to Lagnesh. This is a very big blessing actually. <clears throat> so... That means this Jupiter and Moon will help her always, okay? And now Mars. Now Mars is in a precarious situation here. Mars is wanting to, uh, he, he needs to help Mercury. Not that he wants to, but he needs to help Mercury because they are in Kendra to each other. But does he want to help Mercury? Well, he doesn't like to help Mercury very much. But in this case, he doesn't have any option. He must help Mercury because he is sitting in Mercury's sign. So it is like saying, he is sitting in a sign, uh, he is sitting in Mercury's sign and if Mercury is destroyed, then he will be destroyed because his house is destroyed, right? So therefore, Mars has no option here, no choice here to protect Mercury, okay? So therefore, uh, whenever she has these arguments during uh, the time of sleep, she, has, she might have to let go or the other party has to stop these arguments, which can help her to sleep better, okay? This is just an example. There can be so many things. This can create issue in foreign lands, 12th house or losses or so many other things. They are, they are just uh, small examples which I am giving you. So now which houses does Mars rule? Mars rules the 11th house. Okay, In the Bhav chart also it rules the 11th and <clears throat> it rules the 6th house. Okay, So Mars is ruling money houses. And therefore, because... Um, because of the 6th house and the 11th house, we can conclude that finances is very important for this lady. Okay, So whenever there is an issue with finances in her life or her discipline, then her life can go haywire. Okay? Now, Jupiter and Moon are in Kendra in the Bhav chart to Mercury. Okay? So these two will help him. 
but uh, these two are also uh, not very favorably disposed towards mercury but they are natural benefits so they are uh, auspicious you can say like this so uh, what does jupiter and moon do basically jupiter and moon uh, uh, especially when moon and mercury are in kendra then the person has a greater capability to uh, work with her emotions okay his or her emotions and practicality this balance can be there but in moon mercury are in dusthanas to each other okay not in 6 8 12 from ascendant to each other then they can have this confusion between what to do in life and what between what they want to do and what they should end up doing okay uh, but here because they are in kendras uh, they will help each other and how will they help because they are in the ninth house jupiter and moon are in the ninth house so if she does uh, remedies and mantras actually you know if she chants om namo bhagavate shri vamanaya if she chants om namo bhagavate vasudevaya she will have great success in life they will give a lot of positivity and lot of ideas these two mantras okay so you must be able to tell which mantra uh, the client should chant otherwise what's the use you know karma is very strong sometimes so once you know this then you can advise the client that you should uh, you should move into this area of your career okay or this is how you should get married this is these are the areas which you should focus in life that will really help the person to become a better individual overall okay now apart from that whenever this this is a gemini or a virgo lagna you must always check the 10th house why because mercury is the karaka for the 10th house okay so if this was leo lagna even then you must check the 10th house and the 9th house because sun is the karak for the 10th house the 9th house and the lagna also so for leo lagna 1 5 9 are very important okay or 1 1 9 10 sorry and uh, here mercury is the karaka for the 10th house so you check what is going on in the 10th house so 10th house is empty in the bhav chart and uh, 10th lord is sitting in the 9th house okay jupiter is the 10th lord sitting in the 9th house this is a very fantastic yoga actually okay this is a very big raj yoga so uh, if she is into areas like teaching and uh, guiding others or learning education or she is into something related to schools okay then she can do very well actually in life okay uh and this 10th lord aspects the third house also you remember i said you must check sun so it is aspecting leo so she can get benefits from the government also okay she can be a good government teacher all right and then you have to check uh, if she is getting this mercury mahadasha mercury mahadasha went uh, in her childhood only okay and then uh, these results will be more prominent during these antar dashas okay so therefore today we uh, try to see uh, using uh, different principles by which we can analyze the ascendant lord okay so therefore don't just give uh, some uh, dummy predictions like oh ascendant lord is in third house you will always keep writing it doesn't happen like that okay so you must analyze things in detail and you can go one level below also to nakshatra so if you check here mercury is in mula nakshatra okay and ketu is in the 11th house mula is ruled by ketu okay what about the bhav chart yes he is also in the 11th house in the bhav chart and um, therefore uh, ketu is fantastic okay and also if you check saturn is aspecting this ketu here and rahu ketu gives results of the planets which aspect them okay so saturn is indicating the 8th house and the 9th house also so this can show research and money from uh, hidden sources research and second house also is the house of money so overall this horoscope is very strong for finances but as i uh, indicated the areas so you must be able to identify just from the lagnesh which are the areas which a person should go and delve deep into so that the person can have a good career which is uh, harmonious with the energies of the lagnesh because many times people have these big careers they are earning millions or they are not earning millions they are earning billions but they are not happy this is because the lagnesh is not in uh, harmony with all this okay so therefore uh, please check the nasargik lagna so it's gemini so number 3 check the third house check where third lord is then you check which houses uh, the lagnesh is the karaka for okay so mercury is the karaka for the 10th house so you must check where the 10th lord is okay and then you must check the nakshatra so by this you can identify 
to what level can the person earn good in life or to what extent can the person do good in life okay in respect to all areas you can check for marriage also you can check for uh, children and all the other areas like this okay so this is a this is the analysis of one entire horoscope just by seeing the lagmesh i am not taking any other planet here just the lagmesh okay just by the lagmesh you are reading the entire horoscope all right so i will stop the screen share here and as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me you can go to the description section okay and if you are interested in watching other videos related to karakas i will put it here or here somewhere here okay thank you very much and god is there with you all the time just look for him and you will find him